my dear, you might find it uncharacteristic of me to invite you to spend Christmas in my home. But you see, I've been suffering from strange visions, and I'm old and feel the breath of death like never before. It's Christmas Eve, and I ask that you come to see me as soon as you can. I don't have anyone else who can help. Sincerely, Uncle Ebenezer. Go away! I won't let my miserable master mistreat you any longer. He deserves to be alone on Christmas. Don't let me frighten you. I mean you no harm. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Scrooge is your uncle, so I don't need to tell you what a miserable excuse for a human being he is. But you can help me change him. And save him. All you have to do is change the events that made him who he is. I've made time stand still. That's why everything's so quiet here. Now open your uncle's medallion to see the first event in his past. This one is very sad, and it determines Scrooge's fate for many years afterward. You know I don't care much for decorations, nor visitors.
Oh, it's Belle. She was the best thing that ever happened to Scrooge. And it was all your fault he lost her. It sure was. <laughs> ah, those were the days. I stole the ring and ruined their engagement. And she married that other man. Ever since then, Scrooge has hated the world. He gets greedier and grumpier every year. Exactly. My plan worked perfectly. He's miserable. You're miserable. It's a win-win. <laughs> we'll see, old friend. I've got plans of my own, you know. <laughs> Have fun with that. Don't listen to him. That one lives to cause trouble. But we can still change Scrooge's fate. If you take me with you, I can help you. I can... I can animate things. That's helpful, right? Now, let's get to the nursery. Away we go! You didn't want to read that, did you? 